Since its inception, rail transport has been constantly modernized and in order to compete with air transport, rail transportation must be as comfortable, fast and safe as possible. In 1970, at the Kalinin Carriage Works, a high-speed laboratory car with jet traction, SVL, was created on the basis of the lead motor car of the ER-22 electric train. For this purpose, two twin turbojet engines I-25 removed from the passenger aircraft Yak-40 were installed on the roof of the car. To improve the aerodynamic characteristics, the shape of the car in the front and back was made more streamlined. SVL was designed to conduct research on the behavior of the wheel rail system at high speeds. The necessary measuring equipment and tanks for aviation fuel were installed in the car, after which tests began. During the tests, which lasted for up to five years, the SVL was able to reach a maximum speed of 250 km per hour, thanks to which engineers received important information about the safety of passenger trains at such speeds. Due to the high consumption of expensive aviation fuel, it would not be advisable to use jet traction for a passenger train in the future. In this case, electric traction was a clear winner. The SVL became part of the high-speed train development program, and in parallel with the tests at the Riga Carriage Works, with the participation of 50 scientific institutes and design organizations, the first Soviet high-speed electric train ER-200 with an operating speed of 200 km per hour was being developed. In 1974, the new high-speed train was received for testing and, after a number of modifications, was put on the route in 1984. The predecessor of the SVL was the experimental self-propelled laboratory car on jet traction M497, called the Black Beetle, developed in 1966 in the USA. It was powered by two decommissioned jet engines from a B-36 bomber, which resulted in a maximum speed of 296 km per hour. After testing, the engines were dismantled and the car returned to normal operation until its decommissioning in 1984. As for the SVL, in 1975 it returned to the Kalinin Carriage Works and was kept in the open air for more than 10 years, after which an idea was born to create a popular cafe video salon on its base, but this did not happen. In 2008, the nose of the car with jet engines was cut off, painted and installed as a monument in honor of the 110th anniversary of the then Tver Carriage Works. Subscribe to the channel. There will be much more interesting things ahead.